Let me Thanks, start off because there's a lot to talk about with the president going to the Hill today. Yeah. Tons of talk about immigration and a lot of talk about this policy of separating kids from parents. Yeah. Is that policy meant to be a deterrent or not? Callie, I don't think it's so much meant to be a deterrent as it's really just trying to enforce a law. And let me go back and explain this because I know there's a lot of misinformation on this. So bear with me for one second. 1997, HHS, right. Health and Human Services, works with INS on a deal that says after 48 hours, children have to be handed over to HHS and then within 20 days, they're to be released from detention centers. 2008, that is codified into law for very good intentions. In many cases, young children were being used for sex trafficking. And so there was a sense that, look, the faster we can get them into foster care, the better for those children. But what that created also was an incentive to use children as a way to get across the border. Let's keep in mind a couple of things. Children and parents that come in to ports of entry are not separated when they seek asylum. Parents and children coming across illegally are separated because there are two choices. One is to separate and prosecute the parent. The other is because you're required by law to release them within 20 days, you can just release them into American society and hope they come back for a court date. Our stats show that 90% never come back for a court date. So we have basically two choices, release them into American society and they never show up for court or separate and prosecute the parent but take care of the children in foster care. So that, I think there's a, there's a lot that's being caught up in this and it's finally being brought to light of the challenges that Congress has created for an administration to try to execute a policy. Okay, I wanted to give you obviously the chance to be able to make your argument and talk about the administration's perspective here. So let me tick through a couple of things. When you look at the yeah. statistics, in the first five months of this year, 191 kids were believed to have been traveling with adults who were not their parents. There are roughly 2,000 plus kids who have been separated from their parents currently being detained. So is the argument then that the other 1,800 kids are simply the price that is paid for trying to stop people from crossing the border illegally? Is that just the price that this country has to pay? No, it, no, that's not the case we're making, Allie. We are concerned about those that are being used as, as pawns to get across the border. But again, those that are coming here and seek asylum and come to a port of entry are protected and kept with their family. It's those that are coming here illegally, and the choice is do you release them and say, hey, show up for a future court date. We have so few immigration judges because Congress hasn't given us the funding that your court date is six months off. And we know from data, 90% never show up. Why is that any different from people who are released on parole that are expected to show up, citizens of this country? Hallie, I think that uh, there is a difference between whether or not you're a citizen or, an, or a non-citizen, but I think that uh, in cases of parole, in many cases, those actually move more expeditiously than what we're facing on the border because we do not have enough immigration judges that can actually get to these cases. You've made the legal case. You've talked about where you believe that this administration is from a legal perspective, but let me just ask you, as a, as a human person, just morally, as a, as a just person who lives on this planet, are you comfortable with the things that you see and the things that you hear? No, Hallie, none of us is. We don't like so the situation. So why not stop it? Because, because the Hallie, president the could law, put a pause on the, this while Congress figures second, out a solution. A why doesn't he do it, that? It, no, no, I'm, we I'm would, curious. We, we have made to put a pause on it. If Congress gave us actually the tools to adjudicate it, they have not done that. So you say give a pause, but the law says that in, in the Ninth Circuit ruled that within 20 days you must but, release Mark, the children. So yeah, if you're keeping the children I, I together, the you're releasing we, the whole family. Right, we've, so we've so talked about the 97 and the 2008 laws that have been in place yeah. on this program. But let me just ask you this. If you don't like this, if the president is not comfortable with this, he could stop this from happening in five minutes. He could. Hallie, Why doesn't have, he do that? We have made the case to Congress, not just now, but for the last 18 months, to say in any immigration bill, include resolution to the Flores settlement. It actually is in the House bills that the president will be going up to talk to the House about today, is it provides a solution to this. That's what we've been asking for. So being able to find some sort of a legislative fix, I'm, I want to make sure that I'm paraphrasing you correctly, mm -hmm. being able to find a long-term legislative fix is more important to this administration than the kids who are being separated from their parents on the border. No, is that Hallie. Fair? No, it's not. Because Why right not? now, because you're basically it saying It seems put a to be what you're saying. No, Hallie, listen to me. You're saying put a pause on it, but the law still says that within 20 days you must release the children. So basically you're saying if you're not, if you're going to keep them together, then you're releasing the parents and children. And basically all that does is continue more in cycle of encouraging people to bring families across the border illegally. 
So if you're going to give us the tools to repeal that 20 day limit, then yes, we can put a pause on it. But until you actually do that, there, there is not a choice. You have a choice of separating them and prosecuting the parents for breaking the laws the way they entered the country or you can release them into the American society, which is what the last administration did, and data showed 90% never show up for their court date. Mm -hmm. So therefore, you're not actually securing the borders of our country. That's a false choice, right? You're putting a binary in place that doesn't actually exist because there it is another option. Exist. But the, wait a second, Mark, but there would be another option. And this is not for me. This is from the reporting that we've done from people you talk to on Capitol Hill, people that I know you talk to, Republican lawmakers who are furious, who say there is another option, and that is for the president to stop this policy while they work on a fix. Why is that not an option? Because the law still stands that says in 20 days, the Ninth Circuit says you have to release the children within 90, within 20, within 20 days. That is not being fixed. You can't just pause it and not fix that piece of it. So, Hallie, what you said is 100 percent right. It is a binary choice. That is the dilemma that we face. Well, that A, that's not what I said. But B, when you talk about this policy potentially being a deterrent, that is what Jeff Sessions has talked about. That is what John Kelly has talked about. It seems like you don't want to go that far as to say this is a deterrent, but other administrations officials are. If it's a deterrent, it is not working based on the numbers that we have been seeing over these last six weeks. So when do you pull the plug? Hallie, we, we are happy to change the policy when Congress gives us the tools to do it. That's what we're asking for. So no, I'm not accepting the premise that, that we're using children as pawns in a deterrent game. What I am saying is that But you said the word deterrent just a couple minutes ago. What I am saying is that we're given the law says 20 days. That is the number of days that we have, and there's no way currently with the resources that are there to adjudicate these cases in 20 days. If they give us additional resources, that's one way, or if they repeal the Flores settlement that was codified in the law in 2008, that's another option. Right. So but right uh, now, it, those are the two options. And I understand what you're talking about when it comes to the rules and the laws that are in place. But again, I just pulling back more broadly, yeah. you have heard, I assume you've heard the audio of the kids that yeah. are separated from their parents crying. Does that not disturb you? Of course it does, Hallie. Are you I comfortable just, then with how this administration no. will be judged well, in history Hallie based on this moment? just said that none of us is comfortable with this. This is not a policy that people are excited about, Hallie. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. Why don't you subscribe? It's really easy. Just click on that button down there. And for more news from MSNBC, click on any of these videos here for the latest interviews and highlights. You can get more videos from MSNBC with our newsletters. Head over to msnbc.com newsletters to sign up.